On this Debaco University video, we're going to look at the threat of some grower errors to cannabis plants. Since we've all made mistakes when growing, here's going to be some helpful tips to help you try to avoid some of those common grower errors. Now, as we can see here, these plants definitely look a little stressed. Could be excessive nutrients, could be improper pH, but we're gonna go over the threat of grower errors to cannabis plants, so hopefully you don't make some of these same errors. So first off, realize that when you're growing plants, errors will be made. As growers, errors will be made, but identifying them and limiting the negative impacts they have are important. Um, know your own errors. Uh, own your own errors, if you will, and realize them, own up to them, and then make adjustments from there. Documentation is important to be able to recognize an error that may have been made a while back. It takes a little time to show up in certain plants. Some are not immediate, some take time, and it's important to have that documentation. Uh, you also want to be writing down your dilution rates. So as growers typically use a lot of different products, and that's nothing wrong with that, but have an area where dilution rates are written down as a reference so you can ensure you do not work from memory. Also be sure to actually measure and estimate the amount that's being added. And you could write it right on the bottle, have a set um, chart, have a set paper you always go to so you're not just going off of memory. Also, check the pH in concentration of anything that you're adding. To ensure any unnecessary plant stress is added, be sure to check your solution to avoid something being applied that is outside of the expected range. Uh, these Blue Garden monitors give you temperature, the pH values, the concentrations. Also, just a quick little uh, pen here to go through and check can be a great way to ensure that you're not going to give the plants any sort of stresses. This is particularly important at the very early stage or propagation stage as plants are very susceptible to very high doses of fertilizer. It can cause burn or crinkling of leaves. So be extra mindful during that phase to ensure you're not giving them something that's way out the range of the accepted pH or concentration range to reduce the chance of you inducing any errors and negative impacts on your tender cannabis plants.